Exciting books to read from the book of Daniel. And many Bible students and prophecy scholars love the book of Daniel. Myself, I'm not much of a prophetic preacher, but I love prophecy as well. Today, we would also just look into the book of Daniel, Daniel chapter 3. We are going to look at verse 24 and verse, verse 23 and verse 24. I mean 24 to 25. It reads as follows. Then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished, and he rose in haste and spake, saying to his counselors, Did we not cast three men bound in the midst of the fire? They answered and said to the king, True, O king. He said, look, he answered, I see four men walking in the midst of the fire, and they are not hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. What a friend we have in Jesus. Let us pray. Our Lord, we pray that you help us to preach your word in Jesus. We have prayed. Amen. One writer says, it is not the sheep in the water, but it is the water in the sheep that sinks the sheep. It is not the Christian in the world that is a problem, but it is the world in a Christian that is dangerous to the church. The, the book of Daniel is a prophetic book that rounds, surrounds the theme of judgment. When we speak of judgment, we also speak of deliverance. The name Daniel is God is my judge. Now, if God is my judge, it therefore presupposes that God is also the deliverer. Now, it is interesting that the Hebrew boys are taken away from their homeland, from their culture, from their family, but not away from their God. And, and the Hebrew boys, what is interesting about them is that they had what is called a transferable faith. A faith that is transferable is better than a faith that is stagnant and not growing. Now, in chapter 2, we find the, the king, Nebuchadnezzar, given the history of the world in summary. And chapter 3, we find the king designing a same statue, but with a gold everywhere. Now, the purpose of the statue in chapter 2 was to show the limits of Nebuchadnezzar, that there is no kingdom in the whole world that is eternal except the eternal kingdom of God. In chapter 3, he says, I want to be an eternal God myself. Now, in the, in the ancient days, in a cultic religion, cultic religion, it was those religions that worshipped emperors or worshipped the kings. Therefore, Nebuchadnezzar was used to some kind of a worship because they believed that the gods were with the kings in these days. And Nebuchadnezzar makes a statue and he gives a law and the rule says, now, when you hear a sound of a trumpet and all types of instruments come and worship my God. Now, I want you to notice the language. He says, now, if you hear the God, the, the, the religion of Babylon is a now religion. In these days, we've got people who do not want the future religion. They want a now religion. The reason why churches like Bobak and your churches are packed and full is simply because people, they want a now God. Yet the God of the Israelites was not a now God. He was an old time religion God. We will worship an old God that inhabits the past. Yet he inhabits the future, a God who arrives without traveling and lives without arriving. Amen. The God of Daniel is a God that inhabits the past. He becomes the past. He also becomes the future. Before the past was, the past had already existed. Before the future was, the future 
and other people uh, existed. Now, one thing that is interesting, the, the religion of Babylon is a religion that does not identify diversity. It's a religion that forces people to worship in a certain way, at a certain time, at a certain date, but it does not notice that there are different types of religions. And in truth, the religion of, of Babylon is a religion of unity, where people are uniting in rebellion rather than uniting in principle. They all knelt down, united under rebellion. When the whole world unites under rebellion, God is looking for men and women who will stand for principle. Principle is not under democracy because God is not a democratic God. When God speaks to, to humanity, he just appears and speaks. God we did not vote God to existence and we cannot vote God to non-existence. The commandments of God, as we said yesterday, they are not ten suggestions, but they are ten commandments. Amen. God is not suggesting, but he simply tells you that this ought to happen, and it must happen. But if you do not want God, is a God of choice. He allows you to have your own choice. The Bible says when all the pastors knelt down, elders, Dorcas ladies, there were three young men that stood up. And the king calls them to him. To him. He says, now, I hear that you do not worship my God. They, says, they said to the king, oh, king, we do not need to answer you concerning this. Our God is able to deliver. Then they say, even if he does not deliver, we shall not worship your God. Even if, now, we need a religion that says, even if our God is silent, even if our God would not deliver us, we would not worship your, your, your God, O oh King. The King Nebuchadnezzar got so angry, the Bible says, and he made the fire seven times hotter. Now, let us talk about seven times hotter. Now, when he makes the fire seven times hotter, it is not because he wanted to make sure, it is because he was afraid, because he knows a God that reveals secrets. He was afraid to say, I know that I dreamt and I forgot. It is only the God of the Israelites that was able to explain the dream to me. Therefore, let, us, let me make it seven times water so that there will not stand a chance of escaping. Now, allow me to, to speak with you this morning and say that there are three mistakes that Nebuchadnezzar did. One mistake that Nebuchadnezzar did is making the fire seven times water. We know biblically number seven is God's signature. When God signs, his letters are signed with number seven. In the rainbow, seven colors. In music, seven musical notes. At the cross, Jesus spoke seven times. Jericho, they marched seven times. Number seven times. On the seventh day, seven times, in the book of Revelation and in the book of Daniel, there are seven trumpets and there are seven seals. Because number seven in the Bible represents completeness. Amen. Nebuchadnezzar thought that he was making the fire hotter, not knowing that he was just air conditioning the fire. <laughs> now, the second mistake is that he, he called the three Christians. In the Bible, number three represents the Godhead or the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. He did not know that was a mistake in itself. The Bible says, these guys, they took big guys. Big, big guys that you see. Big guys that are like Shona guys. Shona guys, I noticed at school, they are big, big. They are child guys. They, they took these guys and they threw them into the fire. The Bible says, the fire was so hot. To an extent that it depends the guys that you threw them into the fire. Now, the Bible does not say it without humor. It says, as they were in the fire, they were walking around the fire. Now, now they were walking around the fire, and the Bible does not give us any record, any record that Nebuchadnezzar was once a prophet. But it tells us that Nebuchadnezzar was given a spiritual eyes of discerning things that other people do not see. Because the Bible does not record that the other guys saw three men, but they only say, no, Nebuchadnezzar saw three men. He asked and says, did we not put three men in the fire? <laughs> then he says, how come I see a fourth man? And the Bible says, they, they were walking around. Probably in my mind, I, I come to imagine.
imagine that probably when they were in the fire, they were having a concert in the fire. Shadrach was in first ten, Abednego second ten, Meshach Baraton, and Jesus base. I do not know the kind of a song they were singing. Probably they were singing, my hope is built on nothing except Jesus and his righteousness. When they say, I, our hope is built on nothing, the three will turn and look at the fourth man, except Jesus and his righteousness. Now, I want you to know when the fires of life come, we need to have a song that we sing. I do not know what kind of a song you sing, but when the fires of life come, when you lose your job, when you lose your loved ones, when you get sick, what song do you sing to the Lord? Now, it is interesting that the, the, the scripture here, the miracle did not happen as a result of the three Hebrew boys' obedience. No. The miracle did not happen because of their obedience. Their miracle occurred because of the first man in his grace. Because there is nothing that humanity can do to end salvation. It is only grace. The fourth man appears there. As the fourth man appears, he gives them the ability of not being burnt in the fire. Now, many preachers would say uh, there was a committee in heaven. I don't believe that. It's not theological. There was no committee that was in heaven. Because God is an only present God. When they were getting into the fire, God was stepping in the fire with them. There is no time where God is absent. Because we say God, Jesus was in heaven. Uh, are we suggesting that there was a time when Jesus did not exist? That's theological. We'll talk about that some other time. <laughs> but the fourth man was in the fire. That mistake Nebuchadnezzar sees that these guys are four. He calls the three out of the fire, but he leaves the fourth one. How can you call three, but you see that there are four, but you call three and leave one? <laughs> I want to suggest to you this morning that Jesus has remained in the fire for us. That when the fires of life come to us, we need to know where to go. I grew up in Soweto. Now, in Soweto, if you go to South Africa and you're not in Soweto, don't say you're in South Africa, because South Africa is Soweto. <laughs> now, I grew up in Soweto. Soweto is not in Mali. Some people say Soweto is like Mali. No, Soweto is a town, it's a city. So when I grew up, I grew up in a city. Because when you look at the word Soweto, the word Soweto means southwestern townships of Johannesburg. So not southern townships of Johannesburg. So there was this rural boy that came to town. As this rural boy came to town, we knew a difference between a city boy and a rural boy. A rural boy would wear a three-quarter, don't touch my knee. <laughs> and not only that, when he comes with a don't touch, he would wear a nice trouser and wear a white sock that do not match with a trouser. <laughs> then we knew that this boy could not be a city boy, could not be a boy from around the city. So one day I made a mistake. It was in primary school. I started a fight with this boy. I gave him a punch. And we all know that a punch of a city boy is different from a punch of a rural boy. <laughs> a punch of a city boy is a conflict punch. <laughs> Here in, 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 in Zimbabwe, we say it's a punch of a servita. <laughs> when a rural boy in the morning, they eat sata. During the day, sata, baneru, sata, matekwane, sata. So this guy, this guy gave me a punch back. And I knew that if I continue to fight him with him, he will beat me. Then I said to him, after school is after school. Then the wrong boy said, shut it's okay. After school is after school. The, rang, the, the bell rang for after school. The wrong boy removed his shoes and started folding his shoe, his, his trouser. When I looked at him, he had cracks on the heels. Then I looked at him directly and I knew that, yeah, I would be in trouble. When he was Folding his trouser, I was fastening tight my shoes. I have always been a fat boy. I've never been a slender boy. Now, I started running. The blood boy started chasing me. As he was chasing me, I praised Jesus because I stayed close to the school. As he was chasing me, I saw my grandfather standing in the gate. When I saw my grandfather standing in the gate, I stopped running. And I looked at him and I said, the weather son, I shall honor you all, beat you up. <laughs> and the boy stood, could not fight, not because he feared 
like me. He who stop me was because he has seen what I have seen. What I have seen is my grandfather. That no one will beat me in the presence of my grandfather. It is like in these last days when the devil chases you, do not run to prophets. When the devil chases you, do not run to nyakas. When the devil chases you, do not run to pastors, but run to Jesus. It is always good to know where to run to. The Bible says when Nebuchadnezzar saw, he said, this man cannot be, he looks like the son of God. I want you to notice something, that the son of God does not save them away from the fire, but he saves them in the fire. When God delivers us, he does not deliver us away from our problems, but he delivers us in our problems to show us that our God has a CV. I don't know if God that he has no CV. My God has a CV. Even when things come bad, he is able to change our circumstances. He is able to remove us and place us. It is like Jesus. Remember Jesus? When he came to die, he did not save us in heaven. But he came down to go through what we are going through. I want to submit to you this morning a Jesus that saves us in the fires of life. Interestingly enough, again, when the Hebrew boys came out, there is silence, they don't talk. I would get there is no record of them saying anything after the fire. Now, wait, if it was Nayu and Mui, you are coming out of the fire, the whole SID would know that Mui and Nayu were in the fire, and the fire did not burn us. Tell them that. Look at me very well. And, and not only that, I was going to walk in a sanctified walk. You see, when I was in the fire, <laughs> the Lord sent a, 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 an air conditioner in the fire. And these brothers got burnt in the fire. But because I believe in Jesus, I, I was not burnt in the fire. But the, if these three people, boys, they never said anything. When they came out of the fire, people, the Bible says, they went and touched their garments. And they saw that their garments were not even affected by the fire. At times, we do not even need to talk about our testimony. When we have been with Jesus, people will see. Amen. People will see. People ought to see that you were at camp. And at camp, you met Jesus. And Jesus made the things okay. I, I am here to present not a Jesus that I've heard about, but a Jesus that I have seen working in my life. And I know this morning. I know this week that he is here to save someone. He is here to deliver someone that wants deliverance. I want to pray with someone. I want to pray with two groups of people. First are those that are saying, Pastor, we are going through terrible times in our lives. Times are tough. But we have been encouraged this morning because we have realized that all this time we have been in problems God was not away. He was present with you. And you say, we, we, we want to pray and say, Lord, deliver us from the fire. Even if, Lord, you do not deliver us, please help us to have a faith that will sustain us if in the fire. If you are there, please come forward and you stand in my right. And I want to pray with someone that says, I have heard about this Jesus. This Jesus that does not only save us from the fire, but a Jesus that wants to give us salvation. And you say, I have never been baptized in my life. And I want to be baptized because I have heard that there is a Jesus that is interested in me. If you are there as well, come forward as we pray for you. Dino tewe rakwe sepo Nazita kumu siya
They are saying, they are saying, there will be a baptism this Sabbath. When others are baptized, I want also to be baptized. You will stand there with Pastor Mnagawa. Please come forward, stand up, and just make a decision for Jesus. And the decision for Jesus, that's the best decision that one can make for himself. decision in you. That's not a mistake. I'm going to to Marimi, Yago Zoti, Amgasiwan Pakuwa. Amgasiwan, Murenje, Masnafra. Amula Maka Borasisa. We are in Akagaska Kudi, Makaita Sakana. Snotenda, Pomaskata. Put him on a winning man. Marim Motu in Kupaka Mopay. 
some of their issues cannot even be shared publicly. But dear Lord, you know, may you intervene in a mighty way and give your people a testimony that it is my God who came through for me. I am here because of his grace. Do not tell now. You now, and you shall see them through. Do not tell Keep blessing us, Lord, and keep addressing us. Give him more. Time.